Well, hello, hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to Riddle Joker. I'm your host, Gat the Man, Gat the Great, Gat the Bendejo. <laughs> Alrighty, so in the last episode, we went to Mayu's office, Mayu Shikabe, and she did the res registration process for, you know, aims and whatever. And we picked her up with our arm, and she poked us, and Nanami's like, uh, what are you two doing, you fucking sickos? Ew! <laughs> so yeah, that's basically what happened last episode. Yeah, we met that cute professor-looking girl who's, you know, two years older. And she's like, do you want to be a little man? It's like, you're not old, come on. You're pretty cute, you know? Okay, enough with that. Let us continue. With the registration process all taken care of, we're now making our way to the dorm buildings. There are whooping... There are a whopping four of them on campus here. I guess you need that many when a, every single student has to be a, a company, <laughs> accommodated. Luckily though, Nanimi and, and I managed to be assigned to the same dorm. This makes our lives much easier since we can meet up pretty much whenever to discuss mission related things. Feels like we finally got the bulk of today's business out of the way. Well, we still have our unpacking to do. But before that, we need to find out where our rooms are. You think the dorm manager will be inside when we walk in? I don't know. They have four total, and I doubt each one has its own manager. Good point. We might try to stop someone walking by and ask. Excuse me. Okay, um, let's see. <laughs> huh? You wouldn't be talking to me, would you? Do you care if I ask you a quick question? Not at all! I'll be delighted to assist you! We just transferred here today and we're wondering if we could um, find the dorm manager inside the building. Ah! If it's the dorm manager you're looking for, that would be I! Uh, you? Right, you are! I oversee the management duties for, of all dorms! Are you not a student then? Oh no! I am indeed a student! Apologies for neglecting to mention that! My name is Mijoin. Fuck, I cannot read Japanese words, so if I'm butchering it, I am sorry. My name is Nijoini Nijoni Hazuki. By the by by the by by the by. By the way? By the way. Her outward appearance would lead you to believe she's very calm and feminine, but she speaks with a firm voice. Her dignified speech pattern strikes me as rather fitting for her, though. It perfectly accentuates her confidence demeanor. There are, there are indeed teachers who supervise the dormitories as a whole, but each individual one has a student assigned to it who plays as the role of manager. I've already been a form of your arrival in advance, so not to worry, you have been assigned to my dorm, Dorm 3. That solves our problem. I'm Arihara Sotoru, by the way. And I'm his sister, Arihara Nananami. Nananami. Um, nice to meet you. It's a great pleasure to meet you, Nana. Why do I keep saying Nana? Nanami kun? Um, um, yes, thank you. What's the matter? You aren't feeling unwell, are you? Your face is bright red! Don't worry about it! Oh, don't worry about it. She's embarrassed because you used her first name. Ah, my apologies! That was indeed a bit of a haste on my part, and quite discourteous of, at that. Oh no! I didn't take any issue with it or anything. You're fine. This is the third time today, Nanami. Shouldn't you be getting used to this by now? Not in a single day, no! That's impossible! Poor sister, Will's in utter embarrassment. But this is good for her, in all honesty. She's terribly shy, so without people proactively talking to her, she has a lot of ish trouble making friends. Ah, uh, fuck. That is my problem. I don't like talking to people, like, at my job? Like, don't get me wrong, if you're a customer, I could talk to you because, you know, it's my job, else I'll get fucking fired, you know? But like, when I was talking to my coworkers, 
I don't know how long it took, like a month or two for me to like warm up to my coworkers and they start talking to me, you know what I mean? Like at first I'll just give them like, you know, simple answer, but now I could like communicate with them. And now like I'm actually talking to them without them talking first, so it's pretty cool. I still have troubles with that, okay? But I'm getting better. I hope. I hope I'm not getting worse. This may be work. This may be work. But still, we're going to be living here for the next couple of months. Nothing worry. Nothing wrong with trying to settle in and make friends. I hope we can be great friends, Nanami Kun. Oh, um, me too. Thank you, Nijoy Senpai. I'm gonna call her Nijoy. There's no way I'm reading her name. I can read that one. Hazuki. But anything else, I cannot read it. Also, feel free to speak and act more casually around me, Ariana, Arihara kun That would be great for you and Amiya alike. Will do. I'm glad we were able to get that squared away. Now then, if you, you're both ready, we can go on inside the dorm. Mm, 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 mm. This is the area... Of this area is the lobby. In addition, serves as a so sort of lounge space. In that distinction, you'll find the bathing areas as well as the canteen. Our laundry rooms are located on the third and sixth floors. The third floor is for the boys, with the sixth floor ones being for the girls. It'll serve you well to remember that. Additionally, the floor in this dorms are separate. Fight. Additionally, the floors in this dorm are separated by six. Floor one through three contain contains the men's dorm rooms while floor four and above are the women's gotcha now a few things you might like to know for tonight and tomorrow morning first dinner will be available seven o'clock to eight o'clock wait why just one hour the fuck you are permitted to leave the building but we have a strict curfew of 7 30 when you fix your dinner that will serve as a chicken for us you aren't to leave the dorms at any time after that Wait, wait, wait. When you fetch your dinner, that will serve as a check-in for us. What if you're like, you know what I mean? Like, your curfew's at 7.30, right? What if you, like, before that, like, 7 o'clock, you go out and get takeout, right? And you come back in, and you don't get dinner. Do you still need a check-in somewhere, or... You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> they're gonna be like, Where the fuck are you? Why didn't you get dinner, you son of a bitch? We made dinner for you, and you didn't show. No. You don't get food. We're taking your takeout. Get out of here. Yo. <laughs> Please take your bath by 9.30 and be ready for lights out at 11 on the dot. There is no prescription wake up time for the following morning. Please do do go to the canteen by 7.50 for chicken and breakfast. After that, you should probably make your way to school. And that concludes everything I have to tell you. Wait, wait, wait. There's no prescribed wake up time for the following morning. But you gotta be up by like 7.50. The fuck? <laughs> no wake up time. Your wake up time is like before 7.50. The fuck? I do believe that was quite a lot of information to take in all at once. Do you need me to repeat anything? No, I think I got everything. I'll ask you if I, ha I'll ask you if I have any questions though. Please do. I'll be glad to assist you whenever you need. Oh, right, I nearly forgot. Be aware that boys are prohibited from being on the girls' floor at, a, at any time beyond 9.30. Um, so girls al are allowed on the boys' floor then? It is technically not prohibited, but rather frowned upon to say the least. I'd advise you- I would advise to use the lobby space if you ever wish to talk with the boy. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Now, with that out of the way, I believe it's time to inform you on your rooms. Arihara, Arihara kun. Why the fuck do I keep saying Arihara? Arihara. Arihara kun, you have been assigned to room 318. And for you, Nanami kun, room 418. Here are your keys. So she's basically right on top of you, right? Huh, interesting. Mm, what else am I thinking? Oh, since these are dorms, right? So you have like a roommate? But yeah, this is a boarding school. You probably have your own room. I don't know what boarding schools are like. You probably have a roommate. She presents two small keychains looking at objects to us. They're a type of keycard. These keycards double as your classroom access key. 
do use them if you ever, ever, if you, if you're ever the first of your class to arrive in the morning. Keep them on you at all times. You won't wish to lose it or lock in, or lock it in your room by accident. Okay. I like to show it to your rooms now, but well, it's probably be preferred to leave that test to a fellow man for you, Ari Harakun. A woman says to myself more. <laughs> Fine. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I got this. A woman says to myself more than likely won't be able to answer some of the questions you have. Ah, uh, yeah. That'll be nice. Hmm. Now, who do I know that lives near room 318? Ah, perfect. Saru, would you care to do me a bit of a favor? Need you, son. Raise your hand and call out to a person walking down the stairs. Is that a... They're short slender and have a baby face. A girl? But that one makes sense. She said she needs a guy. Is it a guy or a girl? If it's a guy, I want to give him this voice. But if it's a girl, I might just do my normal. Okay, I'm going to do that first because it's a girl question mark. What do you need, Nijun son? Your room is 317, is it not? Yeah, why? This boy here is a new student. He is moving to, into the room 318 and will be also be in our class from what I've been told. I'll be assigning him with his transcripts, but I was also hoping to find someone of the same gender to help him with all the things that I cannot. Oh, sounds easy. Sure, I can do that. Much appreciated, so you. Ha ha ha. I know you're big on your mat. I know you're big on your manners, but you don't need to thank me for something as simple as that. Hi there. I am Suyoi. Fuck, I can't. Su o you. Su o you. Su o you. Su o you. Kyohi. He. Looks like we're going to be dorm neighbors from now on. We're the same age, so I'm hoping we can be good friends. Feel free to call me Koihi. Sh sure, I'm Arihara Satoru. Address me whatever you want, I don't mind. Satoru, then. Nice to meet you. I take his hands and we gaze in a handshake. Oh my god, it's so soft. What's your secret? You're like, um, what's that fucker's name? Ah, oh, Assassination Classroom. The, the guy who, you know, the main guy. Fuck, I don't remember his name. Are you sure this guy's, this guy's not a girl? I mean... I'm mere inches away from him, and he still looks like a girl 100%. Plus, his skin is so silky smooth, it's unreal. Maybe he's on some kind of undercover mission like I am, and that's why he's masquerading as a boy, when in reality he's a girl, like Arya Stark from Game of Thrones. Um... Everything okay? Yeah, sorry. Looking forward to being dwarm buddies, Ka- Kayuhei. Same here. He nods with a smile. Yeah, thinking again about that undercover thing, I doubt it. Considering the gender's ambiguity of his appearance, he's bound to draw attention from those around him, the opposite of what an undercover agent wants. Is the girl next to you transferring in too? Oh, um, yes, I'm his sister, Arihara Nanami. So you Kohoi. No. Kayuhei, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Alright, Soyu. He's all yours. Okay. Would you like to accompany me to to room 418 then, Nanami-kun? Uh, okay. We'll talk again later, Satoru-kun. So what now? She didn't really give me any specific instructions at all. Najo... Niju-san already told me pretty much everything I need to know about the dormitory. So, um, I guess you can just take me to my room first and then we'll see if I have any questions from there. Okay, sounds like a plan. Come follow me. Ooh. Oh, that's how your name's written. I never knew the, char the character for Don could be read as Satoru. That's pretty cool. It comes with a big downside, though. 
Everyone always misreads it as a Kira at first. Yeah, that's most common. That's the most common reading for it. Oh, this is your room here. Three eighteen. You got the key? Yep. One sec. I move the key over the sensor, and a second hear the click sound on the door unlocking. Looks like all your stuff's got here, no problem. That's good. Oh wow, the room's a lot bigger than I was expecting. Yeah, I just pref just prefer for a one person. Fuck. Yeah, just perfect for a one person room. Or actually, on second thought, it's probably way more than a one person w would need. You probably don't want to buy a, a, a whole bunch of stuff while you're here, you know? Since you'll be moving it all back out once you leave. This seems like a studio apartment more than anything. The walls are pretty thick, plus they got some decent good soundproof material in them. So you don't have to worry about bothering your downstairs neighbors when you walk in or anything. When you walk or anything. But don't try to be too loud or, and rowdy. Need you, son. We'll definitely get on your case about it. Yeah, I get the impression she's pretty serious and straight-laced. I think she comes from a pretty big family name. If I'm remembering right, her dad's a police detective. She's super nice, but like you said, she's not the one to shrink her responsibilities. So, yeah, keep that in mind. Gotcha. T thanks for the heads up. All right. I should go ahead and warn you, I don't know what abilities you have, but don't try to spy on the girl bathroom or anything. They have measures in, in places, sorry, they have measures in place against that, so you'll get in big time trouble. Do they have something like nerfing, <laughs> nullifying abilities? I don't know, I don't know the technology had advanced that far, damn. Nah, nothing that fancy. As far as I know, it's just... It's just, it's just stuff to, fuck. As far as I know, it's just stuff to stop the typical ability stuff that enables peeping, like seeing through walls and all that jazz. Ah, okay. I wasn't sure if they developed the tech for ability nullification yet or not. Well, not like it matters. My ability wouldn't aid with peeping at one bit. I'm a little relieved if I'm being honest. Well, to be honest, isn't your ability to be invisible? So, you can peep at the girls. It's fucking creepy, but... And I wouldn't do it if I had invisibility, but... You could totally do that shit, you know? Yeah, what would you do if you had invisibility? Um, honestly, I would rob a bank. <laughs> it's not bad, I would rob a bank. Or, dude, or be a superhero, man. Think about invisibility. You could gather, like, you know, information on someone and send it to the police. Or be like, you see that there's drugs in the place, right? And you call the cops like, yeah, there's a guy over here with drugs. Yeah, he lives at this house. Just like, give an anonymous tip. So when they kick open the door, like, boom, drugs right there. You know what I mean? If nullification technology isn't being used in the city on the forefront of Astron research globally, it probably doesn't exist, period. Meaning, I can't use my ability without issue. Guess I'm gonna start unpacking all my stuff then. Want some help? Nah, it's not much. Okay, the imminent's at 7, so not so try not to wander out anywhere for too long. I'll come knocking in your door when it's time. If you run into any trouble or want to ask me a question about something, I'll be next door in my room. I have to do a little errand to to run I have a little errand to run right now. But I'll be back in about 20 minutes tops. What are you going to do, if you don't mind me asking? I'm just going to stop by the convenience store and grab some snacks for later. Actually, didn't you say you and your sister aren't from this area? Yeah, we aren't. So you probably haven't been out and explored the city yet. I imagine. Want to come with me and I could show you around? I would love to, but maybe some other day. I'm pretty tired right now, you see? All right, you have to do your Ames registration today, didn't you? Yeah, we can do it whenever. Just hit me up later with a date. Oh, but it'll probably have to be on the weekends. We don't have much free time on school days. Right, I forgot about the 7.30 curfew. 
Niji-san told me we were forbidden from being outside after that time, but I'm curious, what happens if we are? Bring in the curfew. If you don't have permission, they'll force you to write an apology letter, and depending on the circumstances, <laughs> you could potentially get suspended too. You have to write a pinche fucking apology letter, are you fucking serious? I apologize for being out so late. I was trying to play hooky with my friends. And I was trying to score some marijuana and some weed and some cocaine. You're suspended. Why? Because we don't do cocaine here. Only marijuana. We're a marijuana family. Now get out of here. <laughs> yeah, where are we going with this? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, what, where are you going around that apology? I'm sorry for being late. I know it was at 7.30, but come on, it's only 7.31. We're really strict about the times. You have to be here 7.30. No exceptions at all. You gotta write a, a fucking apology letter. That's so stupid. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Fuck, man. I'm fucking losing my mind over the fucking apology letter. I guess sneaking out after check-in is the same punishment. Sorry, I honestly don't know much about that, this stuff. Thanks anyway. Why do you ask? Do you have things you need to do be out doing late at night? Uh, not really. Just kind of... You ever get those random late night snack cravings? Ooh, I do. I totally get those all the time. I'll just be sitting in my room at night, starving. And it's awful because I can't go out and get anything. Dude, that's how I feel about the... Because everything in California, everything closes around 10, right? Because of the stupid um, lockdown thing, right? Everything closes at 10. And there's some times where I'm just sitting in my room, it's like, fuck man, I kind of want to go to like a McDonald's or something. Like, not really getting like snacks, like chips, but like getting like a, I don't know, like nuggets or whatever. But it's like, everything's fucking closed. And I'm like, ugh. And the places where I want to get candy, like, the supermarkets are, like, right now, it's, like, 2 a.m., right? So, supermarkets are closed. I know Walgreens is closed. The only thing that's not closed is maybe Walmart. Well, maybe it is closed because of the fucking lockdown. But, man, I get those fucking cravings, too, man. I was just wondering if we were allowed to make a quick, a quick trip to the convenience store and if something like that happens. I feel you, but we can't. And you better try not and you better not try sneaking out, because you'll get in serious trouble if they catch you. They're that strict about it? Well, it's technically a school that you'll get in trouble. Well, it's technically the school that you'll get in trouble with. That kinda they kinda have this research facility here on campus. I don't know a lot of pe about the place, but there are probably a bunch of super important documents and information and stuff in there. And security is pretty tight around campus because of the fa that facility. If you were just going to one of the other dorms to see a friend, they probably wouldn't let- They wouldn't probably give you too much trouble. But leaving the campus entirely is a whole nother story. Oh dang. That's why I always have to remember to stock up on snacks during the day. Having no fo food when it's past curfew sucks. It really does. They could really benefit from, from having a convenience store on this campus or something. I know, right? Heck, they should be- They just, just take it a step further and put one in every da- in every dorm. But yeah, if you're short on snacks, I recommend making a trip to the convenience store before curfew. And if you ever run out, give my door a knock. I might be willing to share depending on my mood. Haha, <laughs> thanks. I'll do that if I ever come- I'll do that if I- I'll do that if it ever comes to it. Actually, who knows what? I'm already heading to the convenience store, so so why don't I just pick up whatever you want while I'm there? Oh, sweet. I'll take some instant ramen then. I'll let you choose the flavors. Sure thing. I'll be back in a bit. Dude, what if you get like super spicy ramen, right? Because they make those and you're a little bitch to spicy food like I am. So it's like, you got me the spicy ramen. Yes! Fuck! <laughs> I don't like spicy ramen. What other ramen I don't like? From, um, Cup of Noodles? I like shrimp? 
I love shrimp a lot. Shrimp, I don't know what it is. It's just, oh my god. Chicken's okay. I didn't really like beef. I'm sorry. I'm not a beef for my instant ramens. It's just, ugh. I don't know what it is. Beef. I think that's the only two, I, three I have. I had chicken, shrimp, and the beef. See you later, alligator. <laughs> okay, let's do some unpacking in the meantime. Phew. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> Dude, you, you know what you need? You need like a mini fridge, like right there. Like, put a fucking mini fridge right there. This will be like an actual, st like a home. Okay. I can finally relax. It's late in the evening now. I already eaten dinner and just got back from my bath. I plopped down on my bed and continue wiping my wet hair. T today was incredibly hectic. Met a lot of new people and got a f and got fed a ton of information about the school and how it operates here. I'm feeling really pooped, so I'll just probably go to lie down until I fall asleep. But my phone suddenly rings. Wonder who it is. I read the display. I read the name display and Nanami. What does she need that's so important? She has to call. Hello, S Satoru kun Everything's okay, Nanami. Do you need something? Help me! I'm in trouble. Wait, hold up. What's wrong? P please help! Oh my god, no! Like, oh my god, no! I'm gonna fall! I'm gonna fall! Oh, chan What do you mean? Where are you, Nanami? You need to explain otherwise, I won't be able to help. Open! Open! Your window and you will- Okay. I rush over and pull back the curtains. And what awaits me is, is, is a sight too bizarre for words. I I'm falling! I'm actually gonna fall! I'm actually gonna fall! I can't hold on to this rope anymore! What the? Oh, I have black hair. I didn't fucking know that. I look like I'm fucking from, what is it, Lucid 9, like his black hair and like, and p and p color eyes, come on, what the, I have no idea what the hell is going on, but Nanami is dangling outside my window, he's grimacing, trembling, and holding on that poor rope for dear life, what kind of new hobby is this? to my hands can't hold on any longer i swear P please help please my arms are going numb Oni -chan, help! Oni -chan! i i can't tell if she's legitimately frightened by it fuck i can tell she's legitimately legitimately frightened by the tone of her voice she must be telling the truth without a shred of hesitation i grab nanami and pull her into my room I get you're excited about moving here and all, but you really shouldn't. But you shouldn't be rope swinging from a fourth story room. You need to get in more shape, otherwise. You need to get in more shape, otherwise you'll fall. Seriously, fall and hurt yourself. This isn't funny. Look, do you remember what she told us, right? Guys are allowed on girls' rooms, on on the girls' floor at this hour, and it's frowned upon for girls to enter guys' rooms late at night. So you got this bright idea to sneak into my room by throwing a roll out of your window? Well, yeah, my room is directly above yours. At least tell me if you're gonna try something like that. Jeez. If you actually fell, you could seriously die. You seriously could have died, Nanami. I didn't tell you because, um, I wanted to surprise you. What kind of fucking relationship do I have with my sister where she wants to surprise me by fucking killing herself? Well, you sure did that. I was hoping your window would 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 be unlocked, but it wasn't, and I tried calling you multiple times, but she never picked up. Yeah, I was taking a bath. Couldn't you just um, you know, climb back up to your room or something? Lowering yourself is a lot easier than climbing back up. A lot. So you just dangled there helplessly the whole time? You have no idea how scared I was. I seriously thought this was going to be my last day on Earth. Well, you can relax now because you're safe. 
So anyway, what's so important that you have to nearly kill yourself to tell me? Oh, right. I don't have to do any household chores to... But I don't have any household chores to do since we're in the dorm rooms, so I got kind of antsy. And I figure we might as well discuss plans or whatnot with regards to the mission if I have nothing else to do. Ah, okay. I think I understand now. You couldn't just stand being without your big brother, so he jumped on a rope down to his room. Oh, uh, what? That's just creepy. Try to act a little more mature, for the love of God. Man, your burns really sting. How was anything I said creepy at all? It wasn't, it really wasn't. Are you serious? Boy, if you don't even realize, that kind of, that's kind of concerning. Ouch. Oh, that reminds me. Hmm? Are you feeling alright? I know you did a lot of heavy lifting earlier today, so I was just wondering if your muscles were feeling, feeling sore or anything. Nope, they're just fine. The fuck is going on? What kind of relationship do you have with your sister? I didn't use the full extent of my abilities, and I wasn't even doing it for a long time long anyway. Yeah, but the effect usually doesn't show up till later when it comes with muscle cramps and stuff. Well, better safe than sorry, I guess. If you don't mind then. Okay. After a joyful nod, she extends her hands out towards me. Then she gently envelops my arms with, with them both. I call upon the divine ruler of the mysteries. Fuck. Huh, let, let me do this right. Mm. I call upon thee, divine rulers of the mysteries of nature, bestowed upon these hands thy holy radiance. O oh, merciful Mother Earth, give me the power to crave miracles and cleanse this child of his wounds. Heal! <laughs> After Nanami completes her incantation, I feel a strong warmth from her hands. It quickly spreads throughout, all throughout me, from head, from head, my head to my my toes. Then, like a flip, flip of a stretch, all of the tension leaves my body. I feel a lot better now. Phew, that's good to hear. I appreciate it and all, but can I ask you one thing? Why do you feel the need to chant that crap every time you use your ability? Because it's cool! That's your only reason? What other reason would I possibly need? Well, I admit it, it sounds kind of cool. He was, he was totally into it. Does it not embarrass you any? No, why would it? It's times like these that make me wonder why she's so shy. I'm sure I don't need to tell you how critical importance folk- Fuck. I- Fuck. <laughs> I'm sure I don't need to tell you how critical important focus is when using an astral ability. So basically, it's just a little something I do to help me concentrate. Think of it like how athletes do warm-up stretches before a match. Um, I don't want to be the one to say this, but I don't think those are comparable at all. Well, not that it matters to me. It helps her concentrate and it doesn't embarrass her. Then, good for her. Well, thanks for using your abilities on me. I appreciate it. You're welcome. <laughs> Okay, so let's get down to business and discuss our strategy. Our first objective is to successfully Bye. Our first objective is to successfully get ourselves entered into the AIMS database. Oh, that's me. I was trying so hard to do her voice. Our first objective is successfully is to successfully get ourselves entered into the AIMS database. I actually have something I want to show you with regards to that. Here, take a look. He passes me a tablet. What I see on the large, largest screen is a blue pit plinth of sorts. It looks like, looks like one to a building, I think. I already hacked into the school, the school network, and these are all connected devices you see here. The one area you see with a ton of devices in the faculty's room. So those must be all the teachers' computers. You did that within a couple of hours. Are you sure you won't get caught? Nope, I covered my tracks well. They won't know I did it. Isn't this just a regular old tablet, though? Don't worry. It's made to just look like that. 
The device itself is SD, SFD custom made technology. Although the security here is surprisingly generic, I hacked it in pretty easily and they didn't seem to notice at all. Okay, I take her word on it since I trust her. I'm not much, uh, I'm not much of a tech person. I rarely use the internet or even computers in general. Yeah, Nanami though is a genius with computers. <clears throat> what voice did I give him? <clears throat> that girl is way too skilled when it comes. That girl is way too skilled when it comes to information te systems. I tell you, she could probably hack into the systems of the foreign, of foreign governments if she wanted. Why the fuck do I have a bullshit flashback? Her astro ability is healing ability. In addition to that, she's not very physically capable, so it should be evident that she's not suited to be on the front line during missions. The sole reason she has she was admitted to SFD was the reason she was my partner. And the reason she's my partner is because of her adeptness with technology. That being said, it's not an ability she acquired because she want to. Where's the AIM servers located? Do you know? Hmm, it's not in this building. It's not? I can't spot it. I can't spot anything. That would be it. At least it must completely separate from the school, the regular school network. Another important thing I discovered is that I can't see the research center either. So it must be on a separate network. This probably should come to surprise, much of a surprise though. The AIM database contains critical information data. <laughs> Critically important data and putting on the school network would just be silly. So what's the plan? Sneak into the research center? If it comes down to it, we sh we have to. But I think I found an easier solution. Here, look at this. She points me to a room on the top floor. Wait, I know this room. Oh, that's Ikabe Senpai's lab room that we were in earlier. But it's dark unlike the other rooms. There seems to be no devices inside the connected... <laughs> Inside connect to the network. We both saw that there was a PC in her lab, but oddly enough, it doesn't show up on the school's network. So what does that mean? It's connected to some separate network, just like the Ames database is. The logical conclusion is that the Ames has its own network, and her PC is connected to it. That certainly makes sense, considering she she said she could register us in in it using that computer. Well, we can't be one hundred percent. She can technically transfer the data to another computer, and that she, and that one she uses to upload the information to the database. But then, how would we examine her computer? Being, but how would we explain? But then, how would we explain her computer being cut off from the school network? You're right. It wouldn't. My idea was to sneak in there, since it would be a million times easier than sneaking into the research center. What do you think? We can't know for certain whether Nanami's hunch is right or not, but it's worth checking. Security costs monies, and with a campus as big as this, you can't have the same level of it everywhere. Hence, we can assume that the highest security is, is in the highest priority place, that is the research center. Sneaking in and investigating Shikabi's lab room should be our first priority, and if the computer isn't connected to Ames, we'll figure out what to do from there. Sounds good. Keep analyzing the school's Wi-Fi network in the meanwhile, and see if you can find any more about what's going on in that lab room. I'll do some investigating on my end too. All right. You should probably be heading back to your room now. Oh, and I'll be reporting back to the chief, so you don't have to worry about that. Well, I would love to go back to my room, but there's a slight problem. I um don't think I can <laughs> climb back up the rope. And there's probably still people out roaming the hallway, so I can't just use the stairs. I can carry you up there, you know. Sorry to make you do this. I just healed you a minute ago, and now I'm making you strain yourself again. Well, I don't want you to hurt yourself trying to climb that rope. You ready? Go ahead and hop on my back. Thanks again. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. After getting Nanini back to her room, I take- No, no, fuck it. I'm ending it here. This is where I'm gonna end it. Okay? It's 2 a.m. in the morning. I'm tired. I'm sorry, guys. Well, yeah. 
Well, that, that's a typical video, like 40 minutes, man. I could try to go longer. Like, comment down below if you want me to see, like, longer videos, maybe like an hour. But to me, like, after 40 minutes, you know, that's a good thing, right? And plus, I just worked today. Fuck, fuck, man. Anyway, if you like this video, if you like this video, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification to see more of this video whenever I post. And leave a comment. Tell me how you're liking the game. We just saw all, well, most of the people, right? Tell me who you like. Tell me if you like Nanami, uh, Ayase, Mayu, uh, Shikabi Senpai. Well, they're the same person. Um, Niju. I forgot her first name, but Niju. Say, tell me if you like them or not. Or who's your favorite character? And tell me, like, are you getting, like, a weird, like, relationship with, um, with Nanami and our guy? Like, it's a little strange because there's some things I wouldn't do with my sister. I don't know. They have that relationship where it's like, can they be something? Or where she's just a loving sister? It, I don't know. It's weird to me. Like, like my a typical relationship with your sister would be like, like how Ace Academy was. Where, yeah, there's sweet moments, but most of the time it's like we're bickering. That's how I am with my sisters. So it's like, I don't know, man. I'm just having like a weird, like, they could probably be sway home out. You know what I mean? Like, like some Alabama shit going on right now. I don't know, man. Anyway, um, this is Gap saying farewell. And as always, bye-bye.